Hey guys, it's Lee and I am back today with another Dollar Tree haul for you. It is a dreary, dreary, <laughs> rainy day here in Pennsylvania. Um, actually, I don't think it's raining right this second. It has been raining like most of yesterday and today. Also, my daughter is back in Ireland and she went back to classes today. So it was a quick trip. That's why you didn't see me much last week. I only had one video out because I was spending time with her. Plus her dog got sick. Not terribly sick, but he did need antibiotics. It was a week. <laughs> so I'm back at it and I have a Dollar Tree haul for you. These items came from a store in Annapolis, Maryland and one in Edgewater, Maryland. Um, so let me get started and show you what I found. So I was in Maryland, so you know if I find the milk, which I can never find here in my stores. I live in York, Pennsylvania. I mean, I found it a few times, but I haven't seen it since. So I got one more of each. So I did get some of these when I went to Towson, which was last week's video. But I did pick up one more of each of the Gossner Foods milk. This is shelf-stable milk. I got the 2%, the whole, and the 1%. So these are just to go on my pantry wall. Actually, I don't have an actual pantry. It's, I'll show you someday. It's going down the stairs someday when I organize it. Um, anyway, these are going on that wall <laughs> for just when we run out of milk. I don't feel like going to the store. You know, those kinds of situations. Next up, I found some name brand coffee. And these are four ounce bags. I don't drink coffee, but my husband and son do. I found the Jim Beam Bourbon Vanilla Coffee. I found the Jim Beam Original. It just says bourbon flavored ground coffee. And then I also found Junior's Most Fabulous Brooklyn Blend Medium Roast Ground Coffee. Again, these are four ounces, and I just got them for my husband and son to try out sometime. Mostly they use a Keurig, but we do have a regular coffee pot as well. So then I found a bunch of tech items by Bytech, and I bought some, took pictures of others. Uh, so this I thought was really cute. It's a unicorn universal ring grip with built-in stand. Isn't that cute? And, oh, it has a 12-month warranty. Anyway, I just thought that was adorable, so I grabbed that one. Ooh. And then I found this one. It's just a regular ring grip with a hook mount. This is what it looks like. So, yeah. I guess it makes it easier to carry your phone and your coffee at the same time. Then I found this slim grip and stand. It's a vertical stand, a grip, and a horizontal stand. So there you go. And it's magnetic, so you can attach it to your magnetic car mount, which I don't have. And then I got this slim grip and stand as well. Works with magnet mounts, a secure, a secure grip with one hand, horizontal and vertical stand. So I am set for grips for my phone for a long time. So next I just picked up some more travel toothbrushes. I got these by Dental Guru. Actually, they're all by Dental Guru. So I got this kind that comes with a case. Picked up two of those. And then I got these two that have a little zipper pouch, toothpaste, and the cover. And they're covered in glitter from something else I bought. But um, I got these because I actually have two, two trips to Ireland uh, scheduled for next year. Um, so I'm super excited about both of those. But yeah, I got these, um, you know, for the people who are going so everybody can have a travel toothbrush. I also found a lot of hair products that are new to me for the Dollar Tree. I picked up two of these Tresemme Pro Collection Botanic or Botanique, I don't know, Nourish and Replenish Coconut Oil and Aloe Vera Shampoo. Um, they say no dyes or silicones. And these are for my husband and son. I use Function of Beauty Shampoo, 
but my husband and son can use these and they are 13.53 ounces. Next up, by Bedhead, I found only the conditioner, but it's Bedhead for Men Charge Up Thickening Conditioner. So I got, these are 6.76 ounces, and I got these for my husband and son as well. So I picked up two of those. So in the Tresemme, I could only find the shampoo, and in the Bedhead, I could only find the conditioner. I found some dry shampoo by Power Stick. This one is Tropical Scent. They had rose scented as well, and it looks like there was room for other ones. Those are the only two that store had, and I can't, well, my, my allergies and sinuses can't handle rose scent in most things, so I just went with the Tropical one to try it, and this is 2.2 ounces. Next, by Tresemme, I found the Fresh Start Volumizing Dry Shampoo, and I picked up two. These are travel size, and they are how many ounces? Well, they're 32 grams. So I just asked Alexa, and it's about 1.1 ounces. <laughs> so I got two of those. Those are nice travel size products. Next up, also by Tresemme, I found this foam and it is Perfectly Undone Waves Wave Creation Sea Foam Mousse. So I got two of these. I have very straight hair, but I thought maybe my daughter could use it or I might even try it in my hair and see what happens when I curl my hair. I don't know a lot about hair, but I mean, we could try it out, right? Those were an ounce and a half. Next, I found by Big Sexy, Big Volume Conditioner. I didn't find any shampoo, um, but I did find the conditioner. It's 1.7 ounces. So this is great for traveling. I got that. I also found by Big Sexy the Blow Dry Volumizing Gel. It's 1.7 ounces. And I'm excited to try this. I have their Volumizing Mousse that I really like. I have very straight, fine hair, so I need all the help I can get when it comes to volume. So I'm actually excited to try that out, and if I like it, I can actually buy the big one. I found the shampoo bottles. Just the other day I was going through some stuff, and I found the pumps that I had purchased. I don't even know how long ago. It was so, so long ago. I was trying to make room for these. Um, so I do still have the pumps. I have two of them. That's not going to sit. There we go. So I bought two of the bottles to go with it. I love using um, pump shampoo rather than pouring it out. I don't know why, but I did pick up two of those. Would it be a Lee's home haul if I didn't pick up some socks? <laughs> anyway, these are by PEDS and they are trouser socks. Non-binding, all day cozy, stay up fit. And these remind me, they're very uh, thin. They remind me of a thick knee high. Remember back in the day, knee highs? I mean, I guess some people still use them, but yeah, that's what they remind me of. <laughs> I picked up one pack. Oh, I guess I should tell you, they come in black, blue, and tan. I have purchased the all black ones in the past, but I like that there were different colors on this. I found one book. I am not having good luck with books lately, uh, but this one's called Acrylic Expressions, Painting Authentic Themes and Creating Your Visual Vocabulary. So it's by Stacy Swider. It was originally, it's covered, but you can see $24.99. Create artwork that is a reflection of you. Now, I did not get this for me. I got this for someone else um, that I thought, you know, might actually use it. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm going to give this to her. These are super pretty, but I, oops, did I hit the camera? I do not have patience. Oh, look at that. That is really nice to do any of this kind of stuff. So, yeah. Anyway, there's a quick flip through. I'm going to give this away, but I saw it and thought of this person, so I picked it up. 
I got two of these high cloche domes by Floral Garden. And my thinking is, hold on, let me show you. So in my very first Five Below haul, or maybe not my first one, but the one this year, I picked up a Grow Your Own Cactus kit. So I planted the seeds. It said it could take months for it to germinate. So I planted the seeds. I actually put it in a Ziploc bag, put it on a windowsill, forgot all about it because the curtains were halfway closed and it was behind the curtain. Totally forgot about it. Went to do some dusting. Yeah, I didn't dust for months, sorry. Anyway, found it and they had uh, sprouted. So what I was thinking I could use these for is pretty much the same thing. If I buy some more, maybe not the cactus one, but I can put them in this and put them on the windowsill instead of a Ziploc bag. And I thought they would look, it just looks better. So that is my thinking behind buying these. So I got two of those. And if you remember from that video, I also got catnip. That grew so well until it accidentally got knocked over, fell all over the floor. And while I was able to salvage some of it, it really didn't look very nice after that. I'm gonna go ahead and show you the items that are glittering up everything I bought. I got these Christmas ornaments and I know it's not Christmas time, but I wanted to get them while they still had them. Um, I don't, <laughs> I don't know why I'm gonna say this because it's a big fat lie. I was gonna say, I don't need any Christmas stuff so I won't be buying any, but that didn't work with Halloween so I don't know why I think it's gonna work with Christmas. Anyway, I got three of these because I like the shape. And our Christmas tree, um, I don't pull out all the family ornaments anymore. What I do is I put up the tree and mostly it just has Dollar Tree ornaments on it or just cheap red ornaments, mostly red and gold and silver. Those are my favorite. So yeah, so I picked up these to go on the tree, which already has too many ornaments, but you know, it's nice to switch it up a little. That's me rationalizing why I bought Christmas ornaments I didn't need. Next, I picked up two packs of these fall paper cups. Somebody wants to take coffee with them. They can take them in these. I got that design and then I got the leaves. You get four in a pack, oops. And that way they don't have to worry about bringing my coffee cups back. I grabbed two more packs of the reusable straws. I actually got these, I believe here in Manchester, Pennsylvania at a store. I ran in and I ended up getting these and something else, but I used it. So, um, yeah, so I have these and they are 18-8 stainless steel drinking straws and they include a cleaning brush. And I prefer the ones that are angled anyway. So I got two more of those. I found these really cute little blind, I was going to say blind boxes, but they're blind kitten cafe meowable yarn ball bracelet teacups or coffee cups. I am not going to open one of these up because I have someone I'm going to give them to, but they came in green, purple, and pink. And it says on the inside, create, create your own meowable bracelet. So I thought that was super, super cute. So I picked these up. Look, their little eyes are different even. Look how cute. What do you look like? Oh, so cute. <laughs> I got these. I'm a sucker for all this cute stuff. I found one more of the Brookstone products and these are stainless steel and silicone cuticle cutters. These look really nice and I think they're great for stocking stuffers or little gifts if you can find more than one of the kits to put together. I got three of these. I didn't get as many because one of the other kits had a cuticle cutter in it, but I did pick up three of them. Next up, I picked up two of these sphere ice molds just to have some circle ice because I thought it would be fun. So I got two of these. I bought these in the past and ended up giving them away and then regretted it. So I got two of them. That way, if I feel the urge to give them away, I'll still have one. Um, so yeah, those are really cool and let me know if you've tried them. I, I didn't actually try them. And then the last item I found 
Um, I forgot to mention, but you guys already probably know this by now, that after I show you what I found, I have pictures. But here's the last time I actually bought, and I've actually been looking for these for a while. And they are the Stitch and Weft Hot Pads or Pot Holders. So excited to find these. I've seen, well, several people haul them, including Anna from Only My Dreams. And when I saw her haul them, I was like, I want those. Um, but yeah, anyway. So I did find these, they only had the one color and it is a two pack. And I picked up two of them. So I got two packs of these and I don't really need hot pat. Well, I have some, but they look old and cruddy, but they're fine. So I'm gonna put these in the bin of stuff I have for either when the kids move out or for, you know, if the ones I have wear out, I can go up and grab them. So yeah, I got two of those. So excited. All right, so that's everything I found this time around at the Dollar Tree. So now, like I said, I have pictures of items I saw in the store, thought were cool, but didn't need, so I didn't buy them. So check those out and meet me right back here. Welcome back. I hope you enjoyed those pictures and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the little bell so you don't miss out on any of my upcoming videos. You can also find me over on Instagram, Pinterest, and Facebook at Lee's Home 05. Thanks for watching. Bye.